SpaceX's journey in the realm of space exploration has been nothing short of a roller coaster ride. In just a couple of decades, SpaceX has transformed from a small, ambitious company into a dominant force in the world of space exploration. The company's Falcon family of rockets has been at the heart of this success, supporting various missions, including satellite launches and International Space Station resupplies. Now, SpaceX's focus is on the Starship program, an ambitious project that aims to revolutionize space travel. After conducting two test flights, the company is gearing up for a pivotal third launch. This upcoming launch is surrounded by much anticipation, especially following recent revelations by Musk. Recently, Musk shared some promising details about the upcoming third flight of SpaceX's Starship, generating significant buzz among space enthusiasts and Starship fans. Before we explore these new developments, remember to subscribe to our channel for all the latest in space exploration and updates on the Starship program. The story began with the first Starship launch, which, despite its innovative design and ambitious goals, ended abruptly as the spacecraft met a fiery end upon re-entry. This event, which occurred nine months ago, served as a critical learning opportunity for Musk and his team at SpaceX. Then came the second launch, seven months after the first, carrying the weight of previous experience and heightened expectations. Improvements were evident. However, like its predecessor, this mission too culminated in an explosion after the stage separation. These consecutive failures while setbacks were crucial in gathering essential data and understanding the challenges involved in such an innovative venture. After these two launches, SpaceX is now focused on making significant improvements. Changes were made in Starship's design to address the issues observed during the first two attempts. These included modifications to the thermal protection system, enhancements in structural integrity, and improvements in the landing mechanism. Musk recently shared insights about the upcoming third launch. He suggests that the third launch will incorporate all the lessons learned from the previous ones and will feature enhanced systems and capabilities. SpaceX has been rigorously preparing for this flight. The company successfully conducted a full-duration static fire test with all six of Starship's Raptor engines an important milestone ahead of the flight. This test was performed on the upper stage prototype, Ship 28, at SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. Additionally, SpaceX has been working on Booster 10, the super-heavy prototype which is set to accompany Ship 28 for the upcoming test flight. This booster is expected to undergo its own static fire test soon. The preparation for this launch also includes SpaceX's focus on minimizing launch pad damage. The company is implementing improvements at both its Texas test site and the Kennedy Space Center, new center. At the site, the launch tower, referred to as Mechazilla by Musk, is designed to support launches and capture the returning Super Heavy booster using two pivoting metal arms, known as chopsticks. The company is building out a second launch tower at Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 40 to ensure the continuity of its ambitious space exploration plans. Starship stands out not only for its power, but also for its size. This colossal machine is equipped with 33 Raptor engines, capable of producing an astounding 17 million pounds of thrust, nearly double that of NASA's space launch system used in the Artemis 1 moon mission. Regulatory compliance and environmental responsibility are also key aspects of the Starship program. The Federal Aviation Administration plays a pivotal role in authorizing these launches. Currently, the FAA is investigating the mishaps from the November 18th flight and SpaceX's license for the upcoming third test flight hinges on the outcome of this investigation and the subsequent corrective actions. Additionally, the environmental impact of the launches has been a point of contention, with several organizations raising concerns. Assessments by the FAA and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service focus on aspects like the Padeluge system, intended to mitigate damage from the rocket's immense thrust. Moreover, SpaceX is preparing for the future, making modifications at Launch Complex 39A to support Starship launches while maintaining the capacity for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. 
These efforts are part of a broader plan that includes ambitious goals like transporting humans to Mars and supporting NASA's Artemis III crewed mission to the moon, scheduled for 2025. This mission is particularly significant as it marks the first crewed lunar landing in over 50 years, and SpaceX's Starship will play a crucial role in ferrying astronauts to the moon's surface. An interesting aspect of the upcoming launch is the quick turnaround, facilitated by a functional and compliant water deluge system. This system, akin to a gigantic upside-down showerhead, protects the launch pad from the immense thrust generated by the engines. In addition to thermal protection, the system also plays a role in reducing the noise levels produced during the launch. The intense sound generated by the rocket engines can be harmful, and the water helps to dampen this noise. Another important aspect is the reduction of vibrations. Launches can produce significant vibrations, which can be damaging to both the rocket and the launch pad. The water deluge system helps to absorb some of these vibrations, providing additional protection. Finally, the system contributes to environmental protection by cooling and controlling the exhaust particles produced during the launch. This is increasingly important in the context of environmental sustainability in space missions. Addressing the heat shield's integrity has been a priority for SpaceX in its preparation for the upcoming Starship launches. The concern stemmed from issues observed in previous flights where heat shield tiles were seen falling off during ascent, a significant safety risk given the heat shield's role in protecting the spacecraft against extreme temperatures during re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. To enhance the heat shield's reliability, SpaceX has focused on improving how the tiles are attached to the spacecraft. This effort goes beyond just strengthening the adhesion process. It involves a potential redesign of the tiles, considering aspects such as size reduction, to minimize the risk of cracking and to boost the shield's overall sturdiness. Furthermore, the introduction of additional reinforcing materials, like metal inserts or secondary protective layers, is being explored. These enhancements are aimed at fortifying the shield against the rigors of space travel, particularly the intense thermal stresses encountered during re-entry. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.